venous drainage and the lymphatic drainage of the neck. The root of the neck contains the following structures which entering the thorax or coming out from the thorax. These structures are blood vessels, nerves, muscles, esophagus, trachea, and thoracic duct. The veins of the neck are formed by jugular and subclavian veins. The jugular veins are formed by number one internal jugular vein sends inside the carotid sheath. Number two external jugular vein sends in the superficial fascia of the side of the neck. Anterior jugular vein sends in the superficial fascia close the median plane of the front of the neck. Then jugular arch which connecting anterior jugular veins of both sides. This is the veins of the neck. This is the anterior jugular vein starts in the submental triangle, one on each side of the median plane, connected with the other side by jugular arch. And this is the external jugular vein starts by union between posterior auricular vein and posterior division of the retromandibular sense to end in the subclavian. Then the internal jugular vein which passes inside the carotid sheath. External jugular starts by union between posterior division of the retromandibular or posterior facial vein and posterior auricular just below the parotid gland. It is directed downwards in the superficial fascia till about one inch above the clavicle where it pierces the deep fascia of the roof of the posterior triangle and descends to end in the subclavian vein. The deep fascia attached to the wall of the vein all around during piercing. So if the vein is cut, it will not collapse and it causes air suction, which lead to air embolism. There are valves at the lower end of the vein. The tributaries of the external jugular vein, number one, posterior auricular, number two, posterior division of the retromandibular, which forming the external jugular, then transverse cervical vein, suprascapular, anterior jugular, and posterior external jugular vein. This is the beginning of the external jugular vein by union between posterior auricular vein and posterior division of the retromandibular vein. Internal jugular vein starts as continuation of the sigmoid sinus inside the jugular foramen of the skull. It descends inside the carotid sheath lateral to the internal carotid, then common carotid arteries, and the vagus nerve in between. It ends by joining the subclavian vein to form brachiocephalic vein. Its upper end is dilated to form a superior pulp and the lower end also dilated to form inferior pulp. There are valves just above the inferior pulp of the internal jugular vein. The tributaries of the internal jugular from above downwards. Number one, inferior petrusal sinus comes out from the cranial cavity, then pharyngeal veins common facial vein, lingual vein, superior thyroid, and the middle thyroid veins. This is the internal jugular, and this is uh, some tributaries, superior thyroid vein, middle thyroid vein, and the internal jugular united with the subclavian vein. Lymphatic drainage of the head and neck. The lymph nodes are arranged as a letter of T. Horizontal part is formed by two rings. Outer rings belongs to the superficial group, while the inner ring belongs to the deep group. The vertical group arranged in a long chain along the carotid sheath. It is divided by intermediate tendon of omohyoid muscle into upper deep cervical lymph nodes and the lower deep cervical lymph nodes. The superficial lymph nodes are present superficial to the deep fascia. Efference from superficial nodes drain into 
deep cervical lymph nodes. The deep cervical nodes are deep to the deep fascia, and the efference of the deep cervical united to form jugular lymph trunk, which drain into thoracic duct on the left side, but on the right side ends at the junction between internal jugular and the subclavian veins. This is the lymphatics of the head and the neck. There is outer ring or superficial, submental, submandibular, preauricular or parotid, posterior auricular, and occipital lymph nodes. The vertical group, upper deep cervical around the carotid sheath, and this is the lower deep cervical lymph nodes.